So me go so cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Your purpose I call you. All the time for your answer. Welcome to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link, where our redeemed, revived, and transformed guests get real and empowered youths. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and I'm so happy to be with you here on season four, where God is doing an absolute Absolutely amazing thing today I'm super super excited to have in the building with me none other than Rondell Allen more popularly known as Rondell positive man of purpose the mirror boss the youth advocate the purpose activator the kingdom teacher the philanthropist and so much more one of Jamaica's most sought-after inspirational recording artists we love him he He's here to share his story of hope, his story of salvation, and I know it will inspire you. Go get your aunties, go get your uncles, your sisters, and your brothers. Let them know that Rondell Positive is in the building, and he has a word for somebody. You don't want to miss this. Cover me, cover me, cover me under the blood. Yes, Rondell Positive. Don't move a muscle. We'll be right back. Do you want to be a supporter of Sheena Power Talk? Here are ways that you can become a partner to help this ministry grow. Call 876-429-6004 for more information or email Sheena Power Talk, the number one at yahoo.com, paypal.me slash Sheena Power Talk, cash app, dollar sign, I-R-E-N-J-O-H, National Commercial Bank, Sheena Power Talk Limited, St. Jago Shopping Center, Savings Account in Jamaican Dollars, 471-599-794 or in U.S. Dollars, 475-116-305. Sheena Power Talk, making waves, changing lives. Sheena Power Talk And we are rising and take over territory We are break some curses lyrically We are shake some kingdom literally No show Satan, no sympathy Young people make we grow spiritually Stop war with the neighbor physically Draw for the Holy Bible daily Humble a God feet like baby Tired for see family in a cemetery Youths them need guidance mentally Stop abuse young girls sexually We need Yeshua in the industry See it on a try rob you are your destiny Young girl keep your identity Welcome, welcome, welcome man of God How are you? I've been great, a bit tired but I consider it great, I count it a privilege to be able to do what I do so even when I'm tired, I'm grateful, thankful, and hopeful still. Amen. Thank you so much yes. for being here. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you inviting me to be on your, your platform too, you know. Because, you. I mean, it's it's by any means that we're able to share the message and, and impact a person's lives. Yes. Yes. I like the red on you. So you're always just nice. I see you stay for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I'm always somebody who likes putting myself together. Yeah. You know, um, and plus I'm a king's son, you know. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, that's king's right. son of the clean. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. With all of that being said, please look into the camera and give us five significant things about yourself. Well, five significant things. One is that I'm a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Um, secondly, I am a Jamaican. That's, one of, that's, that's the second most important thing in my life. Um, thirdly, I'm married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Um, fourthly, um, I've been gifted with three of the best children, um, most precious gifts. And fifthly, um, this opportunity, this gift to be able to impact humanity, um, I, I, I put very high value, yes, sir. you know, on, on that gift. I also believe that the Bible is the foundation of truth. What is your favorite scripture for the season and what it means to you? Well, my favorite scripture period is um, Proverbs 19, 21. It says, many are the plans of a man's heart, Ooh. 
but it is God's purpose that will prevail. And what it means to me is that purpose is what really brought men to earth. And that is, and that the purpose is not men's purpose, but it's God's purpose. It also means that no matter how much I plan, God's purpose is going to always prevail, prevail over my plan. So my prayer has always been, Lord, show me a purpose so that I can make it my plan. Amen. Glory to God. Thank yeah. you so much. That scripture yeah. is amazing. Guys, write it in the comment section. Show some love for the man of God as well. No, sir, we know that you're a man of purpose. Number one, the purpose is a big thing for you. And we're going to mm -hmm. get into that. But can you tell us a little bit about who was Rondell Positive before salvation? <laughs> who was Rondell Positive? He, um, he was first Ron Hell. Yes. He was first Ron Hell when he was going to primary and high school. And then um, later in high school, he became Rondell Slaughter. I was a sound system selector back then. Um, I think I was somebody who, was all, who always knew that there's something about me that was different. And I was, I was trying to find what that thing was. And I think it led me down a lot of wrong roads, you know, but um, I'd say, I'd say um, at about fifth form or sixth form, fifth form, yeah, I think I started becoming much, a much more calmer person and somebody who was looking for what is it in life that there's, there is for me to do. Um, and so I think when I went to my first year in college, I started drifting towards being a better person. Right. Yeah. But I was a troublesome person before. Really? Yeah. And then, then again, what we call trouble back then <laughs> compared to now is no trouble at all. That's right. Were you raised with proper Christian values and principles? Absolutely. My mother and father, um, ever since I was born, I knew, I knew them to be Christians. Um, what, I'm, what, I, what I really loved about my parents, though, is that they never forced Christianity on us. They never forced they never forced their belief on us matter of fact when i was about 13 or 14 my father had to leave home we're from we're originally from portland my father had to leave home to clarendon for work and so it was my mother with with three boys and um i i think they actually gave us the opportunity to really make mistakes and learn from mistakes and you know um uh, they never had this hard thing over us yeah. um about christianity i think my father taught me the kingdom very early in how we behaved one of the things that stood out to me was that when i was eight years old he he had the opportunity to go to the u.s run off and not come back and of, I think it was 13 of them, of the 13 people, he was the only one who came back. He came back and made sure that he was teaching his sons how to be men, yeah. you know. So, yeah, they were so, Christians. So it was very important for you to have your dad in the home because it greatly impacted your life today? Very much so, absolutely. Well, nice. So what do you think about parents that actually force the religion now onto their children? You know, sometimes we're in church and... They become... The, your children will become religious oh. and and they will and they will also they will also um become very resistant mm -hmm. um it is knowledge of the truth that sets people free right. you know religion can set no one free mm -hmm. religion can set no one free um it's knowledge of the truth and that truth is the kingdom of god right. that truth is having people understand what Jesus brought back to them, that Jesus brought back to us the same ability that he, Jesus, possessed. The same, um, Paul writes it in, in, in um, Romans 8, he says, that same spirit that raised Jesus 
from the dead is within us. And he says, if it is that that spirit is in us, that spirit will quicken our mortal bodies. So what Paul is actually saying is that you, once you come into contact with Jesus, real contact now, because a lot of people, there are a lot of people who are in church and not saved. There are a lot of people who are in church who, who transitioned from one lifestyle because of an emotional move, but they have not really accepted and ingested Jesus Christ, the spirit of Jesus Christ, the spirit of Christ in themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that, sir. So can you tell us a little bit more about your baptismal experience? My baptismal experience, well, yes. so um, my experience, my salvation experience came from, it was a, as I said, I was a sound system selector, so I was a womanizer. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. But there was something about me. I noted it about myself from very early. I was always looking for my wife. Mm -hmm. So even though I was a womanizer, every girl I ever spoke to, dated, I was always having this question in the back of my head, is she my wife? Is this girl my wife? Um, so the long and short of it is that I found my wife, but I still had other women. And um, so I had a girl who was coming, coming into Jamaica from the U.S. And at the time, my fiancé was going back, was going to the U.S. on, on summer vacation. And so, um, long and short of the story, I thought I would be playing my last game. That's what I told myself. And um, I got caught playing my last game. <laughs> um, that actually messed up my, my life. Yeah. and stuff and I remember I was sharing this story with somebody I think I was sharing this with John Mark a couple couple of days ago um, I went home to speak to my mother you know because my mother is is, is the, my confidant and my close friend and and I remember going home and when I went home she wasn't at home and my father said if you want to speak to your mother you need to go to church because she was at church so I actually went to church and um, spoke saw her and the moment i said i wanted to talk to you she said don't talk to me talk to god and i mean that's the first time my mother would have ever said something like that to me she said don't talk to me talk to god and immediately when she said that um these are people who know me from i was a child yeah and one of the deacons just walked down and sat beside me and said you have something to say and i didn't know if i had something to say um, I, I guess I said yes. They took, they gave, me, they stopped church there, and they gave me the microphone, and um, all I could say was help, you know. Um, so nobody preached to me. Mm. All I could say was help, um, and not just say, but I mean, expressing help because I never knew. I think it was about eleven years later, God gave me a song called Help. Mm. And he showed me, he said, this is what you were saying. Help, save me from myself. You know? Um, so that was my encounter. And um, I remember they had promised to pray for me. And when the pastor was about to pray, he said, um, Ronald, if you believe, he said, if you believe that God can fix your problem, he says, don't tell us what your problem is. But if you believe that God can fix your problem, by the time you get back home, your problem will be fixed. And I kid you not, I left heading back home. Um, I had a big diamond stone in my ears and, I, mm. and something said, take out the diamond stone and throw it away. I took it out and threw it away. And I said, God, if you are real and if you are really God, fix my situation that I don't lose my family. And I said, if you fix this, I'll give you the rest of my life. When I got home, my fiance treated me like she cheated on me. Mm. And that was like 20, maybe 23 years ago. And to this day, every time we talk about it, we ever get to talk about it, she says she does not understand what happened. So God actually, I asked, I prayed and I asked God to, to show me that he's God. And you know, that happened. And then, so I, I never told her that I'm giving my life to God. Mm -hmm. And then um, the Sunday, that was a Wednesday. The Sunday, I decided I was going to church. I was supposed to be playing at a, at a, at a dance in town, in Kingston. 
on the Saturday night, when the guys came to, to, I was sharing with Rolex the other night that the guys say, seven days. When they came to pick me up, um, and I say, yo, church tomorrow, you know. And them say, seven days, you know. So I'm here 22 years later, you know. 22 years later, yes. Yeah, man, 22 years later, and, and, and creating impact um, at a much larger level, you know, than, than I could have been. I'm just talking about that. Did you know at any point in your life that you would have been Randall Positive, Randall Positive that you are today, that is impacting so much people and youth? So, so I know that I had a vision. The same church that I went to, to speak to my mother, I remember when I was nine years old, yeah. I was at a convention and I was walking up a, stair, a, 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 a set of stairs and I heard this preacher preaching and I remember saying to my mother, I'm going to be a preacher. Ooh. That was nine, you know. Um, music, I never, I never knew that I would become who I am in music. I knew that I was gifted with music, right? Um, but I could have, I mean, I could have blown up on the secular a long time ago. Um, I used to sing when I was in sixth form, fifth and sixth form, when I sing a Mariah Carey song, mm -hmm. you think it's Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. um, when I sing a Sanchez song, a matter of fact, they used to call me Sanchez too. Um, so I, I knew I was, I, I could have blown up with, with music, um, but in in terms of where I am and, and, and the impact that I'm create, creating, that what God is using me to create, um, Never saw it. Yes. You so know? you got seven days, and you were also called Rondell, the, 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 the selector name. Remind me? Rondell Slaughter. So how did you impact the other, other persons back then? No, man, I was... So, so when I when I got I saved, <laughs> when I got saved, I, I actually made a decision that, that um, I must be more powerful than I was mm. in the world. Yes. I mean, in... People, people, a lot of people won't understand me on stage. Um, I, I have a spirit that is like Paul's spirit, that, that I'm very zealous yes. for the things of God. Um, when I was in the world, I used to tell people, if I'm in a dance, I remember there was a time when Capleton had a lot of fire sounds. Run, come stand up in the fire. When I tell a man stand up in the fire, he must stand up. It wasn't a question. When I tell a man, take your shirt, just bought your new shirt, take off the new shirt and throw it in the fire. You hold it a naked man in the dance. <laughs> yes. You know? Um, tell the shutter them, take it and bust it straight. Yeah, man. So, so, um, and then, so when I got saved, the Lord reminded me that the spirit, this commanding spirit that is on my life was never for the secular. It was for it was for me to use it for his good because the Bible said that all things he made all things and all things that he made was made to give him pleasure. And when he made the Bible never said he made anything that was not good. It mm -hmm. says he made all things and he called them good. Yes. Right? And so I remember that the Lord reminded me of that and he said, Yeah, what I've given to you is for good. You know? Mm -hmm. And so that's how we started applying. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Is there a specific event or moment that set you on the path for campaigning for purpose discovery in our youths? What happened that caused you to be passionate about that? <clears throat> so, so um, most places that I go, people don't call me gospel artist. Mm -hmm. Most places that I go, mm -hmm. people don't call me gospel artist. Most times when I'm called gospel artist, I always ask gospel of what? Mm -hmm. Because there are many gospels. Mm -hmm. The word gospel means good news. So if I if I tell Sheena that I um I'm giving her two million dollars, I actually just preach a gospel to you, you know, because yeah. I just give you good news. Yeah. But so so that general thing is I always say I'm a gospel I'm a gospel of the kingdom of God artist. If you want to call me a gospel artist, I'm a gospel of, of the kingdom of God mm -hmm. artist. Now to your question, the first song God gave me was out of a cry mm -hmm. about Jamaica. Yeah. 
2005 song called threefold solution it's a piece of unity that's what we need in each community and we don't need no more gunshots yes. and how that song came about was that i was teaching i'm a, I'm a trained teacher and i was teaching some fifth grade kids and one sunday afternoon there was a shooting in mandeville on a football field a little boy named zidane a drive-by shooting and i remember going to school and asking the kids how do you guys operate knowing that at age nine and ten you can't just leave your house and don't reach back home because some crazy person just decided that they're going to drive by and shoot up somebody and the kids started talking and i started writing what they were saying and then the melody and melody popped in my head and in that period 2005 between october and december this was when God started birthing songs, birthing songs. I would take the Gleaner or the Star and see the headline, and it's a seven dead, and, just, and within one second, rise up this morning, the news let me down, fat seven dead last night, five of them by gunshot, six of them civilian, the other one a cop, three dead hospital, and four dead on the spot. And the Lord just start set me on a, on, on, a, on, a, on a journey. I mean, I would just see things, yes. and, and songs would just download. Yes that had to deal with the social issues of Jamaica mm -hmm. and stuff, you know. And so, um, so from the get-go, yeah. my entire life was, was about, you now, this music must be pulling these youths towards God mm -hmm. and showing them who they really are mm -hmm. and why they really are. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. So what are some practical ways the youths can discover their purpose with the leading of the Lord? So discovery of purpose is is it, it, it requires first thing Jesus Jesus gave it away. Jesus said Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth that you know is what will set you free. Many people think Jesus saying you shall know the truth. He was just talking about himself. Mm -hmm. No man, he's talking about your car. Mm -hmm. If you find out the truth about your car, mm -hmm. if you find out the truth about your phone, if you, you get freedom as to how to operate the thing. Yes. And so purpose, purpose is why. Yes. Purpose is why something is made. So if you know what you're doing, when you're doing, where you're doing, how you're doing, who you're doing, but you don't know why you're doing. Mm -hmm. doing, Knowing what to do, when to do, how to do, where to do, and who to do but don't know why to do is a life that has that is is it, it, it is pushing you straight to error yeah so the most is the most important thing on earth the why purpose yes and so for you to understand purpose there's one main key to purpose yes. and is manufacturer mm -hmm. oh Mm -hmm. One main key to purpose mm -hmm. and is manufacturer. Humanity suffers because humanity does not go back to manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Humanity continues to, to exp experiment. Mm -hmm. But when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is automatic because you don't know why, so you experiment. Yes. And when you experiment, you actually cause damage. Mm -hmm. You cause damage because you, are, you don't have the correct information so what did what did jesus say jesus says seek first the kingdom yes, sir. and be in righteousness with god what he's saying in is make sure you seek the right information mm -hmm. make sure that the thing that governs you is the right government god's government yes. and and, and, and being right alignment and he says then all other things will be added unto you mm -hmm. don't you notice that even in in church right now we, we, we preach a lot about things yeah. but jesus said we mustn't seek things yes yes sir mm -hmm. jesus said to be frank he went down he went down further mm -hmm. and he, he, he made an indictment mm -hmm. on the church he said the gentiles are the pagans then mm -hmm. seek after things yes. he said the pagans seek after things yes. what he's saying is yes. in the kingdom in the kingdom mm -hmm. things run after you yes 
-hmm. When you seek the kingdom first, mm -hmm. things run after you. So, so the, the key to purpose then is finding manufacturer, mm -hmm. going back to manufacturer. Why? Because manufacturer, every manufacturer, every single manufacturer, whatever they're going to make, they complete it before they start making it. Mm -hmm. They create what is called a design, mm -hmm. a blueprint of whatever they're making, and they complete it. They submit that blueprint, mm -hmm. and unless the authorities that concern that blueprint, whether it's an airplane or it's a car, whether it's a, it's a, a cell phone, whatever. So the, 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 the authority, the governing authorities over that is a governing authority that will decide, hey, this thing is completed, go ahead and make it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, before you were started, God finished you. Ooh, yes, sir. Yeah? And if you don't believe me, read Isaiah 46 mm -hmm. and verse 10. He says, I am God. And he says, I, I, God, I determine the end of a thing before mm -hmm. its beginning. And then he says, and my purpose shall stand what he's saying is you randell choosing to experiment mm -hmm. is to your own detriment mm -hmm. because i have actually given to you the manual yeah. the manual to your life many people think the bible is a is a religious book it's not mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's a book about a king his kingdom and his royal children yes. and in that book, the king outlines how the children are supposed to live. Mm -hmm. What does the word manual mean? The word manual, it means maker's mind. What it is saying is, what was in the mind of the maker before he made? Mm -hmm. And then the maker wrote it. Mm -hmm. The same is true about your Bible too. We call it the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm -hmm. What do they call the thing that a parent or a grandmother, when they die, um, they will? Leave, will. Mm -hmm. Will. Mm -hmm. Will. Yes, sir. Cool. Have you ever heard the people saying they want to know what is God's will for their life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. God's will is not hidden. Mm -hmm. It's only the word. God's will, mm -hmm. let me explain it. The Old Testament and the New Testament, mm -hmm. when your grandmother or your grandfather dies, they leave what is called a will and testament. Yes. Mm -hmm. The will is what is in the mind. Mm -hmm. When it is written, mm -hmm. it testifies what is in the mind. It becomes the will and testament. So God's will is not hidden. Yes. God wrote his will and testament. Mm -hmm. And so the Old Testament was the first covenant. So when he said to, to Abraham, he said, before Abraham, when he said to Adam, he says, I am making you, and I, how am I making you in my own image and likeness? Mm -hmm. And then he says, now why am I making you come back to purpose? How am I making you? Image and likeness. Why am I making you? Have dominion over the earth. Yes, sir. It leaves to under, to leaves the question to ask if, if the church understands the purpose of the church. Mm, that is so true. It leaves to under, it leaves us to ask the, ask the question. Does the church really know what Jesus brought back? Because Jesus brought back what Adam lost, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what Adam lost was his government, his dominion, his rulership. Mm -hmm. No wonder when Jesus was leaving here, Jesus said that he expects of us that we will do right. greater than he. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it was him alone. Mm -hmm. And now he has deposited in each of us the same spirit that he possessed. Yes. Remember... Was it Abraham or Moses? One of them multiplied themselves. They were going into a war. It was Abraham. Mm -hmm. It was 300 Abrahams. <laughs> the Bible said it. Mm -hmm. It says every one of the soldiers took on Abraham. It's a lot of debt. So, so, so Jesus really brought back to us what Adam lost. Mm -hmm. 
and what he lost was his government dominion rulership as i prophesied it him say unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given notice he said that the child is born and the son is what given the son wasn't born mm -hmm. The son was in the child. Ooh. Jesus was the Jesus was the body carrying the spirit, Christ. That's why his, his name is Jesus Christ. And that is why we possess. When he was leaving, he says, He says, I'm going, but he says, I am going, but it is for your it is for your benefit that I go. Because if I don't go, then the spirit cannot come. Mm -hmm. And then he says, but this spirit will do nothing of his own. Ooh. He'll do everything of me. What he was saying is, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Yes. I am coming to dwell in you. Mm. Yes, sir. You know? So. So, oh, this is so powerful. Oh, this is so powerful. There's so much depth being dropped right now. But we're going to take a commercial break and come right back. Please be reminded to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Every time you like the video, you tell YouTube that this is a very interesting program. And YouTube will send it out to different countries and different people. And that's how you get to support me. She na power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day, but today you can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1-876-429-6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now. Crown and the cross. Devil must know we no worry. We are warrior, glory carrier. We break down every barrier. Spear the goat and any blood can carry. Holy ghost, one can tan tan carry. Stay a for the chopper and them dalia. Stay in a school, Chantal, Brie, and Talia. Load the road, Sean, David, and Maria. Serve the Lord that will make life merrier. Welcome back, welcome back. Here we have Rondell Positive, and this has been so like this is like some lesson and some lesson we are learning right now. You know, nuggets a drop power can get your notebooks and your notepads. No man of God, mm -hmm. I love when you sing. When you sing, I can see people so connected to the presence of God, even in times of hopelessness, helplessness, when they are frustrated, when they are confused. Where does the lyrics come from? Is it from pains of life or just the present? Whoa. God? So I don't have no lyrics, you know. See, see, I, I remember the very first time, Jeremy and Edwards. I love Jeremy and Edwards, Ooh. you know. Mm -hmm. I love Jeremy and Edwards. Um, like I said, I started out with this thing with God depositing just social commentary music. Mm -hmm. Right? And... I never knew anybody in gospel music. Never did. But I had a brethren who came from England, Denver, Milton. Right. And Denver was working on an album with German. And so Denver was a Denver was the brother-in-law of a friend of mine. Yes. And I was driving Denver to and from the studio. So I never knew anybody in gospel music and thing. And Denver started playing a German in words mm -hmm. album called um island worship too mm. yeah and he would, oh jesus you're the one that i need yeah. your presence is so and then there was the song one of my favorite songs um holy spirit mm -hmm. holy spirit yes and i was listening to this youth and i said i said i remember i prayed to god and i said god i love to sing some of them kind of song yeah mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes I want to tell you how I feel and thing. And the first song that the Lord gave me was a song called Available Vessel. Oh. On a Sticks and Stones album. And so, got the song, wrote the song, and then started getting other songs and getting other songs. Like I've always said, I always tell people, I don't write these songs. The Spirit of God write these songs. These songs, I think the Lord taught me something. And I'll say it on this interview because I've said it before and some people take it, took it and tried to hustle it. But um, God showed me why Bob Marley is Bob Marley. Yes. Mm -hmm. The only reason why Bob Marley is Bob Marley. Yes, Bob Marley is gifted. One. Mm -hmm. Two, Bob Marley is Jamaican. Three, Bob Marley sings on a reggae beat. Yes. But what really makes Bob Marley's music 
eternal and can't die is the eternal word of God. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing. Bob Marley, Bob Marley found a secret. Jesus said, Bob Marley read the Bible, you know. Yes. And it, it, even the movie that they just made with him, if you look, you will see that the first thing that somebody gave to him was the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley understood what Jesus said when Jesus said, not even a jot or a tittle mm -hmm. of my word will pass away. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away. So heaven and earth will pass away before some Bob Marley songs pass away mm -hmm. because there's a jot or a tittle yeah. in that. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so, so the Lord showed me them, those secrets a long time. Mm -hmm. so, so one of the things was that, Lord, okay, since you have shown me these secrets, let no song leave my lips that is not dosed yes. in your word. Yes, sir. Let nothing leave me. Why? Because the word is eternal and everlasting. Mm -hmm. It is eternal. So I, I was I, I was contemplating the other day, having a reason with the Lord, you know. And I said, Lord, give me a new song now. People are cry for a new song, you know, Lord. Mm -hmm. Give me a new song now. Mm -hmm. And him say, you have a word for new songs. Mm -hmm. And I say, yeah. And him say, every one of the songs them new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, him say every one of the songs them knew. Mm -hmm. And the Lord start asking me some serious questions. Him say, how oh, often you read Romans 8 and you get something new? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is it more than a conqueror? Romans 8. When they hear it, they hear something new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. You see what has happened is that we have been, we, we, we kinda take this music. Remember who was the ruler of music you now? The devil was the ruler of music you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so in his mind. Mm, and somebody will watch this. Oh my God. And somebody will watch this now. And they must say, um, the people that need new song. Yeah man, we hear you. We perceive you, man. But you see the system of the world? Yes. The system of the world make it seems like things don't exist. So, so if you notice, they have they have moved us from hours mm. of, of of being able to pay attention to one minute and mm. thirty seconds of paying paying attention, mm -hmm. TikTok and and Instagram and all of these yeah. things. Thirty yeah. seconds. So then, tell you, you you don't have the ability to focus anymore mm -hmm. because things. But if I am eternal, I am eternal being. Mm -hmm. So my music is eternal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eternity means outside of time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Christian need to know who they are. The Bible says, God sent his son. He, 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 he so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have not day-to-day -day life, eternal life. Yes. Eternal life means... Life outside of time. This is why Paul said, I no longer think of any man in the flesh. He says instead, any man in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things now do what? Become new. He says, this is not even a man anymore. Mm -hmm. He's a new creature. And I can prove it. The next verse, which, which um, God, God, let me do the interview now, Lord. Go ahead, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm. The, the preachers, most of the preachers don't teach it, they preach it yes. so they preach the punchline and they say any man in Christ is a new creature mm -hmm. all things are passed away and behold all things become new they don't, they don't give the precursor which is verse 16 and they don't give you what follows in verse 18 verse 16 says, Paul says I do not think of any man anymore mm -hmm. in the flesh mm -hmm. therefore if any man is in Christ he's a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things become new and listen to listen to 18 now it says now everything that this man does is of God mm -hmm. So that's why John can now talk on it in, 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 in second John. John now can say, um, the man who is a believer cannot sin. Yes. Because the man is now a new creature. Yes. Mm. So John is now saying, this man 
take on Christ, and if you take on Christ, Paul says, matter of fact, Paul says, you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So if you're in Christ Jesus, oh, you're sin. Mm. Because there's no sin in Christ Jesus. Mm. If you are in him, where does sin get in? Because he took on every sin and destroyed every sin. That means if I run there, is still sinning, yeah. that means Christ never destroyed the work of the devil. And the Bible said Christ destroyed the works of the devil. What's the works of the devil? Mm -hmm. Sin. Sin. But the thing is, we have to know it and don't, and don't just feel it. Mm -hmm. The challenge that we have is that we have a Christianity that is driven on feelings. Ooh, start going to it. Not what we know. Yes. Jesus said, if you know the truth, mm -hmm. you're free. Let me tell you the truth that I know. Yes. I know that Jesus came and yes. destroyed mm -hmm. the power of sin. Mm -hmm. So when he gave me grace, what he was giving me was the example that he lived. That's what grace is, you know. Grace is the ability to do what God does. God gives you his life. Mm -hmm. Jesus took your life. Mm -hmm. Die yes. and gave you his life. How is it that Jesus gave me his life, but I'm still living my life? Mm. See what the problem is? Yeah. The problem is we really don't accept. The, the problem is we really operating on feelings and yeah. you know and emotions. And emotions mm. and yeah. So it's like we read the word, but we don't really understand what we're reading, and then we leave out some of the most important parts. Just as all you that's very much so. Sixteen and then eighteen. Very, and very, very much so. Whoa. One of the scriptures that drove me, that one of the scriptures that got me very, very militant about how preaching happened at church was the one that said. Young man, I call upon you because you are strong. Mm -hmm. When I when when the Holy Spirit broke that to me and I discovered it, I said I said to the Lord, Lord, what a disservice mm -hmm. has been done to this. What a disservice has been done to your word. Mm -hmm. It say, young man, I call upon you because you are strong. Listen to the next part. Because the word of God dwells in you and you have already overcome the evil one. Mm. Nobody will teach the young man that. Let me just say, young man, God called upon you because you're strong. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's, it, 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 it confirms what Jesus has done. It says, it says, you have read this word and this word is already in you and this word has overcome mm -hmm. the evil one right mm -hmm. so you see for me music is a is a vehicle because i realized that i needed this relationship with god that would help me to show other people the relationship with god mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. his desire his desire is he hasn't nothing is hidden but you what here what with it. He will not show you what you're not looking for. Mm -hmm. And and the truth is that most Christians are not looking. Yes. Most Christians, most Christians trust pastor more than themselves. Mm -hmm. True. Most even though pastor tell tell them, say, go home and read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. No man, pastor will take away yes, mm -hmm. You know? I, I, there's, there's so much. You see, Jesus, Jesus hasn't, Jesus never died in vain, man. Yes. Jesus came and restored humanity. Yes. Humanity has been restored, but the truth is that humanity don't believe it. Yes, true. That's true. Humanity don't believe it. Everything that He came to do is already done. Are you saying to me that Jesus need to do something else? What else must Jesus do? Jesus has already done it. He, has, he says, I come. Why did I come? I came to destroy the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. The question is, God asked me this question. He said, Randell, so tell me, did Jesus come? Yes, Father. Did he do what he came to do? Yes, Father. So what else is there to do? Mm -hmm. People just need to believe. Ooh, ooh. And believe and accept. If I carry a gift, if I carry a gift, mm -hmm. Let's say I carry the latest iPhone mm -hmm. for you and I put it in a pocket. 
and it marked Sheila Powers. And you leave that packet, package with that gift for five years and don't open it. Guess what happened? You don't know what's in the gift. Yes. You have the gift, but you don't know what is it. You haven't received the gift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people mm -hmm. have received Jesus, but not the gift that he carried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people have received the idea of Jesus, but have not opened the gift mm -hmm. to see. Let's go back to Isaiah. Unto us, a child is born. And a son is given. Mm -hmm. The child is a package carrying the son. Ooh. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The child is a, is a gift wrapping, mm -hmm. carrying the gift. Mm -hmm. This is why when he was leaving, Sheena, he goes, mm -hmm. and he said, now receive yes. the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And notice what he said. You can receive the gift and have no power. My and he said, receive the Holy Spirit. And then he said, but go to Jerusalem and wait, Jesus. for you shall receive power. Ooh. Ooh. So you can receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can receive Jesus and become Christian. Mm -hmm. And powerless. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, but there's a scripture that also says, you know, having a, having a, some another about Jesus, but denying the power, power thereof. So having a form of godliness, yes. mm. but denying the power, the power thereof. Yes. Mm. Oh, man of God, I, I, I have the questions for what I do, but I just feel the Holy Spirit leading. But now I'm going to ask you, I yes. know. Well, that was just so powerful. I feel God right now. I know somebody, your eyes open. There's a revelation. It's like a light bulb come on. It's like, we want to know what's in the gift. I want to know what's in the gift. I want to go to Jerusalem now for the power. Now, man of God, I know that you value family, number one. Mm -hmm. I always see videos of you and your beautiful wife, hi, mm -hmm. and your children, you know, on purpose campaigns. And I want you to tell us how important it is for man to lead men rather to lead by example but not only them but carrying their family to be a part of that mm -hmm. not in a forceful way but in a graceful way it's most important because because that's how god ordains it mm -hmm. um the bible says paul paul wrote and paul writes he says that the head of every woman is man mm -hmm. and the head of every man is god yes and and what he was saying was how God leads me, I need to lead my wife and my family. I am I am purpose driven, yeah. you know. And for example, my my wife and I we have three girls, mm -hmm. twenty two, twenty, and seven. And our twenty two year old and our twenty year old are now in university overseas. And the the the, the challenges that they met upon um, when they when when they went in. They were very quick to say, Daddy, we are so thankful for how you taught us. Because for me, I never, I never made my girls feel like they have to go to church. Mm. I never did. Mm -hmm. I just told them the principles that are related to this thing. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I outlined benefits and consequences mm. from very early. Yes. Right? So they could understand. They could measure and say, okay, why do I need to read my Bible? Because I am governed by an unseen spirit that runs the entire universe. And this Bible is a reflection of the mind of that un unseen spirit. So very early, my seven-year-old, she doesn't sleep. She's unable to sleep unless she's listening to the Bible. That's from she was born. So every night, if, you, if, if, if she's to go to bed and her Bible is not playing, she cannot sleep. She comes back and says, hey, I need my Bible. Mm -hmm. You know? So, so the truth is that the, the, the role of the man is the head of the house. Now, the head does not mean that you trample over. To be frank, the head means that you are a foundation. Foundation is not really seen. Mm -hmm. The foundation of this building is never seen from 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 the foundation for this building was passed when they were starting this building no one has ever seen the foundation mm -hmm. what does the foundation do it holds up everything mm -hmm. 
you know and so that is that is the role that and and, and, and like i said but about my father my father did that for me very early i saw my my father did so much man my father did so much my father 1986 my father was redundant got redundant laid off um because he was he, he was on the wrong side of the political divide and um he got laid off and and thing and, and i watched my father as a little youth i watched my father make things work you know as i said my father got got a ship letter went to the u.s and 13 of them went 12 of them failed failed the medical one passed the medical so one was only one was going to get the job the next 12 of the next 12 the 11 decided to run off and my father decided to come back home when we saw him come back home we were saying this man is a madman this man get the gold spoon for can go far and the man and, and and my father sat us down and he told us up he said listen he said no sensible man would not leave their three sons on their mother alone yeah so you know i appreciate my father he set the example he set a, a great example he has set a great example for us and and that's the example i'm setting um my wife and i were setting for the girls and i really really appreciate that like, i was in the positive videos we see the positivity how many youths are being impacted and we really love that and we appreciate you sir over here power gang we are really appreciate you but i want to ask you also what does mentorship mean to you but not all of that who were your mentors in your early years of music mm. mentorship is key Mm -hmm. um, mentorship is transferring, is transfer of transference of of, um, of knowledge. Mentorship is key. That's what Jesus did. If you look at Jesus, set the greatest mentorship example. Yeah. You know, and if you notice, he he he, he actually not just taught the disciples, but he did the practicals yeah. with them. You know, he he did the practicals. With them and sometimes some of the some of the times the people don't understand mentorship because sometimes people think mentorship is this um just being nice there were times when jesus asked the disciples are you daft <laughs> huh? how long how long must i be with you how long must i be with you you faithless generation yes, so you know sometimes mentors men, the mentorship requires the mentor really getting at the mentee mm -hmm. you know but um very early i'd say so my father is one of is my biggest my first mentor yes you know mm -hmm. um and then i had some teachers one of the teachers is mrs olive phillips when i was at primary school because Miss Phillips would always say to me, Randall, you have the pot you have the potential to be yes, great. Sir. Never forget her. Another teacher was Miss Gloria Panton. Same thing, Randall, you have the potential to be great. And then I went to teach field high, high school, and then there, there was Miss Clark and Miss Miss Mrs. Newfield. Um Mr. Chin and Principal Mr. Chin and Principal um Principal Saxter, you know loaded um when you come on to music definitely Jermaine Edwards was a mentor Jermaine Jermaine was a youth who showed me how the system set up and how the system work um also Philbert Ward who was at the time managing both Jermaine and I Philbert has been one of those persons who is who has always been there um yeah and then you have people like Miles Monroe, mm -hmm. who, it's strange because Miles Monroe mentored me without knowing me and I knowing him. Because mm -hmm. I met Miles Monroe the day after he died. Mm. Yeah, I met Miles Monroe the day after he died. But there was something, and I thought I met him the day after he died, but I met him when I was three years old. Yeah. Through a song that my father taught me. Yeah. And... The moment I became a recording artist, this song was a song, it's called Brand New World. I'm gonna release it either later this year or when the album drops. But this song has never left me since I was three because, because of the content of it. it. It speaks to a government that is huger yeah. than any other government, you know? Yeah. And so Miles Monroe, Peter Morgan, 
um, Dave Burrows, you know, those are some of the people who have been my mentors. Thank you. So did that mentorship and collaboration, or rather those mentorship and collaboration, help to shape your spiritual life as well as help in the development of your spiritual life? Absolutely. Career? Absolutely. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Because, because um, learning the kingdom separate from Christianity mm -hmm. was one of the most powerful experiences I've ever had. Um, understanding that, and, and if you say to Christians, no, there, a lot of Christians will say, um, Christianity is not a religion, is not a religion, is a relationship. No, it's not a relationship. Christianity is a religion. Mm -hmm. God did not, you did not lose a religion. Jesus did not bring back a religion. Jesus never started a religion. It's, it, we need to come to the place where, where, where we just accept the truth. Jesus never started a religion. There's no one, there's not one place where Jesus mentioned anything about religion. Read every time Jesus spoke. He said the kingdom of God is like. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is like. The kingdom of God is like. The kingdom of and he says, listen to what he says. He says, he says, getting the truth about the kingdom of God is so important. He says that the devil, you know, so the devil will send out demons to attack people. Yes. But he said, check me, check me, the, the, the parable of the sower. Yes. Matthew, Matthew. 13, 18, 13, 13, 18. One of them. Yeah. He says, when the message of the kingdom, which message? The message of the kingdom. He says, when the message of the kingdom is preached, he was talking about one of the type of soils. Yes. He says, when the, the message of the kingdom is preached, and it, and it falls on this rocky soil, and this person does not understand the message he says the devil himself comes and snatches it whoa mm -hmm. if the message of the kingdom was not that important why would satan not send a demon because he normally send demons to work mm -hmm. but he comes and snatches it himself mm -hmm. so that you don't understand it mm -hmm. matthew 24 24 14 again jesus says we are the people <laughs> Oh, help me. I hear we're talking about there are a lot of end times ministry now. People saying it's end times. I, you know, I hear that from a little bit. Mm -hmm, true. And nothing that, I, nothing that I'm seeing now is new. Mm -hmm. If you read Matthew 24, you will see that Jesus outlined everything that is happening. Yes. And Jesus is saying, let me tell you what is stopping the end from coming. The church. Because he says, when this message is preached, mm -hmm. If I said to you, when this watch, it means I'm saying there is another watch. Right. Correct? Mm -hmm. He says, when this message is preached, the message of the kingdom yes, sir. in all the earth, he says, then will the end come. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What he's saying is we, have, we need to know what we're preaching. Many, last thing I'll say is, and that is this. Many people are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but are not preaching the gospel that Jesus Christ preached. Whoa, whoa, that is so true. And if Jesus is our example, yes, we should be preaching what Jesus preached. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everybody has different doctrines and different things, it's just confusion, though. A lot of confusion. Why? Why? Because, 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 oh, because this is a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus was not a theologian. Mm -hmm. Neither was Paul. Paul was a man who lived in heaven. Paul recognized that he became super, he became spiritual. He recognized that he could have encounters with God yeah. and see what is happening in heaven. Remember Jesus said it, Jesus says, I do nothing. This is when he was on earth, you know. Mm -hmm. This is when he was a man on earth. Mm -hmm. 
He says, I do nothing except that which I see my father. do." That's why Jesus would spend so much time in the morning. Yes, sir before going on the street with the father the disciples the disciples figured it out the disciples says he spent so much time in the morning doing this quiet thing at this place where we can't even see him he spent so much time and then the disciples says but when a blind man called to him in a second mm -hmm. why he's, he's saying i'm doing what i saw my father do my father showed me this blind man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so our role really is to go after we are seated in heavenly. If you know where you are sitting, if you know where you are sitting and change your life and make where you are sitting the most important thing, God will start opening up things yes, sir. and show you the things that are happening in the realms of the spirit. Yes. And you bring them to life. Yes. So when 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 we talk about these many different doctrines, yes. the question is go back to Jesus and see what Jesus preached. If you look, if you read the Bible carefully and you read Paul, you will see that Paul is preaching what Jesus preached. Yes. Paul makes some comments in correcting churches and so forth, but Paul is preaching the kingdom of God. Amen. Peter is preaching the kingdom of God. And when you listen to how they speak, they speak. Peter have, Peter says, in, 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 I think it's in 1 Peter, Peter says that there is a way for you to be perfect. Do you know that, do you know that almost every, every preacher that I know accept the lie <laughs> that you're not perfect? <laughs> if you, if Jesus was perfect, Mm -hmm. And Jesus transfer himself to you. Yes. What makes you not perfect? Mm. Believing that you're not. Yes. Mm. My God. Man of God, we'll take a commercial break and come right back. She not power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day, but today you can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1-876-429-6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now, Crown and the Cross. Power Gang, this is so good, so much nuggets, so much information. I feel God, and I know many people in the comment section will understand what is going on right here. But see the Lord, because listen, man of God said some things today that made me want to go back in my Bible. I will all have to learn. Man of God, thank you so much for all that you're it's sharing. It's so amazing. I'm going to want to come up on the topic, there, but there's just so much things I want to ask you. And I must ask you this. What the, I want you to talk to some young Young men that them feel like them know it all. Then they need no Bible. Then they need no God. Then they need a mentor. We can't do this. We see how we have to do it my way. What would you say to them? You're you're being you're being misled. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't mean that to be offensive. I just mean it to be the truth. Mm -hmm. That that as I've said, every product. The truth about every product is wrapped up in the makeup of the product. The truth about every product. If you have a Benz car, you wouldn't carry go to Toyota to fix it. Mm -hmm. Because Toyota did not make Benz. Yes. See? Now, one of the things that, 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 that I found out early, God showed me, was that people care about things more than themselves. Yes, sir. So people will spend a lot of money to fix their phones them iPhone or them Samsung phone, whichever phone. But when it comes down to fixing me and knowing the truth about me and connecting with the things about me, it becomes secondary. Yes. You know? Um, God made you. You never make yourself. That's right. <laughs> that is a reality. Yes. And the truth is that, look at God. God believes in you more than you believe in you, you know? Yes. Examine it. He believes in you but because you possess his image. And anywhere his image is, he chases after his image. Yes. So he believes, even when you don't believe in yourself, God believes in you. Yes. 
and he's saying my thing is I just hope that you would realize that I believe in you because I know what I put in you and all I want to do is pull out that thing out of you so for somebody to, to actually say well I, my way is the way um, the truth is mm -hmm. that person then is on the verge of becoming a candidate of the richest place on earth, which is a cemetery. And their, and their wealth will be added to the cemetery because the cemetery is the wealthy, wealthiest place on earth. So many books that have never been written. So many businesses that have never opened. So many, so many songs. So many, yeah. you can name it. You know, so many preachers who never preached. Yes, sir. So many businessmen who never write a business plan. Yes, sir. It's called potential. Loaded potential. If we could mine, if we could mine this, this cemetery, we would pull from the cemetery what, what is worth more than diamonds and gold. Gold because of how people yes. look at life. Okay. Can you imagine? You don't know where you come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you think you no, 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 crazy? Man. <laughs> this is so true, man. Of God, man. Of God, I know that you had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people. You've shared stage with a lot of greats. But is there anyone that you really wanted to meet? You know, maybe a while back, and you have got the opportunity to meet them. How has that experience been for you? I think I think I wanted to meet um Danny McClurkin. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And I met him 2018 at Fun in the Sun in Kingston. Yes. Um, and how I met him too was kind of, kind of, you know, it was kind of shocking. But then God, all God, how God operates is that God would remind me that, mm -hmm. you man, you want to meet him, but he's a mere man. He's a man, you know. Yes. He's a man. Mm -hmm. So just remember that he's a man, you know. So I met him. Um, I think he came on stage once um, when I was coming off stage at Fun in the Sun and he, he actually congratulated me and told me that he loved my ministry and so forth. So that was kind of kind of an exciting thing yes. for me. Um, yeah. Um, I think, as I said, I never knew Miles Monroe until after he died. Yeah. But, but there were so many people now that I never knew of yeah. that... I've been able to meet. Yes. Um, my relationship with, with the Monroe family um, and and the ministry around Miles Monroe is only God orchestrated. Yes. You know, his son, his son Miles Jr. is my brethren. Yes. Um, the is is his successor is my mentor yes. and, and 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 father figure. You know, and um, and I mean, I have access to them, yeah. um, and and I mean, there was no, I don't know how it happened. Mm. You know, God just orchestrated it and it and make and just made it happen. Yes, I, I, I love that one of God, and also for me, I always wanted to meet you oh. <laughs> because what I what I really admire about you, yeah. purpose driven, mm -hmm. and you activate purpose in other people. You mm -hmm. live on purpose. You demonstrate that not just you, but your family it really shows the world that listen, families can be rooted and grounded and firm. Mm -hmm. And this is what we want for a better Jamaica, but not just Jamaica, all over the world. And I always love that. So when I I got the opportunity to meet you. That was something big for Whoa, me because I love to have me a jump and I sing, cover me, cover me, cover me under the blood. Those are my favorite and mirror and different ones. And the Shonen, I, I love all of them. So this is a big opportunity for wow, me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I have two more questions before you go, Mother God. How have challenges shaped your determination and resilience in ministry? So I'm, I, I, I guess I would say that, um, Mm -hmm. I, I call challenges, I see challenges as opportunities. Ooh. Yeah. Um, to be frank, in the in 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 the in in Asian, the Asian Asian, I should say Asian. Yeah. In Asian in the Asian community, they don't have a word for crisis or challenge. Mm. The, that's why the Chinese and the Japanese and these guys, you find that they they flourish anywhere they go. True. Because the, the same word that means crisis is the same word that means opportunity. Yes. So where most of us see 
crisis, they see opportunity. Mm. You know, they see opportunity. Um, so, so where, the, where, where, where challenge is concerned, I always, Ms. Mandela always says, I never fail. Either win or learn. Mm. And that's something that I have I've grabbed onto from a very early, early time. That I will never fail. I win or I learn. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, that is so powerful though, man of God. I love your wisdom. Anybody ever tell you that there's something that I pray for up? that. I pray to I pray for that every day. You know, Whoa. I pray for wisdom because you see the wise the, Solomon was the wisest man. Solomon did not pray for house and car and and, and no, he said, God give me a heart of understanding and wisdom. That's what I crave every day. And mm -hmm. and my wife, my wife prays for me, and that's what she prays for me every day to my children pray because I know that that is what I desire. I I I desire the wisdom of God because the wisdom the Bible says his wisdom is foolishness to men yes. men will not understand so so I I, 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 I crave that wisdom yes. you know he said walk with the wise and you become wise so I seek out friends who I hear who I know seeking wisdom always reading you know always listening mm -hmm. and growing Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. One more question before I ask it to minister to our audience. Can you share with us like a moment of triumph or success that you have had in your career that is most significant, one of your most significant mm. accomplishment? Well, hey, this is this is one of my most significant one one of the moments in ministry yes. where I felt most accomplished yes. was never even mine. Wow. It was it was seen John Mark Wigan's album Manifest. Wow. Yeah. Seeing seeing John Mark manifest, mm -hmm. knowing knowing I met John Mark twenty twenty two I think. Or twenty twenty one. Is that the validation one? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. But but seeing his 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 vision and his plans come to fruition and be, and, and 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 him being able to present that work for me, I was really 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 um, it was overwhelming for me, and I was really happy to see that because. I'm a generational person and I want to see I want to see those who come who follow us who follow the Randall and the Jeremy and the Kevin and 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 all of the other guys who were before us mm -hmm. but we, we we have to be able to see to it or or celebrate it and and do as much as we can to help to help to elevate it mm -hmm. you know and so to watch john mark i know john mark john mark reminded me of myself yes. how i would how i would structure things and how i would go after things so watching him and seeing him come to come come to fulfillment yes. was amazing for me so that was such a self selfless response. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Whoa. For me. You, sir, I've never asked somebody that and they were this selfless. That is such a selfless <laughs> response. I love that. That's it. And it shows That's that you it. love other people and you're able to celeb celebrate other persons' success. Yeah, and, and, and one of the things is that I, I I mean there was a time I, I, I must be I must be very honest that there was a time when if you asked me that question, I would have thought about some kind of an award. Yes. You know, but over time I've grown to realize that I don't work for our, for awards. Mm. I don't. And, and 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 having an not that I do not not that I do not appreciate awards. Yes. But but if you're not careful, yes. awards will lead you away from your rewards. Oh my god. You know, if you're not careful and, and so I, I preferred I recognized that Jesus his investment was in people. Yes. That's why that's why my family we invest in people. Yes. Everything that we do is investing in people. We think about school tour, we think about um we think about TV show, yes. everything that we do. 
we think about investing in people. What we used to do, we're about to, to start back what we used to do in St. Thomas called Heart Praise, which was a massive event. Um, Heart Praise was about investing in people, helping people, you know, just whatever. Um, and my life, I mean, I, I, I'll say this and close. In, I came into understanding of who I am. I told you earlier that one of the most significant things about me is that I am Jamaican. Yes, sir. I have an understanding of who a Jamaican is. God gave me an understanding. God, God has taken me on a journey to understand who is a Jamaican. Yes. And he showed me 99% of Jamaicans don't know who is a Jamaican. When I love talking about manufacturing and, and things. When manufacturers are about to make things, they determine why. Why the thing is to be made is why the thing is made. If we, God would not make a thing if it never have a specific reason. Yes. When Jamaica was being formed in 1962, God gave a group of people three things to write about Jamaica. And these three things are the, 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 they are the pillars that Jamaica stand on. The motto, the anthem and the pledge. Mm -hmm. To be frank, the word anthem, it means the standard by which something is governed. So let's look at look at what the, the, the national what the motto says. The motto says, out of many, we are one people. That's what it says. And then the anthem says, listen to it, you know, out of many we are one people. Who are these people? The anthem says, We live on earth, but knowledge send us from above. Give us vision, lest we perish. If you read the entire scripture, mm -hmm. two things cause people to perish. A lack of knowledge what? and a lack of vision. That's right. If we ever know who a Jamaican is, so let's go again. Out of many, we are one people. Who are these people? These are people who live on earth but do not want earthly information to govern them. So knowledge send us from above and give us vision, not sight. Vision. Give us vision. Show us the plans for the future. Give us vision, lest we perish. Mm. That's motto, and that's anthem. And then national pledge. The person who wrote this now thought or believed that these persons who have made the, the motto and the, and the anthem, yeah. by they are finished with, with understanding the motto and the anthem, this is how they will speak. Before God and every human being, I, Rondell, alone, mm -hmm. not us, yes. I alone, this one Jamaican, pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of the strength and vigor of my body. Yes, sir in the service of my fellow citizens. Not we, but I, Rondell, promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood and peace, work diligently and creatively, think generously and honestly, so that, let's get it clear now. So after we get that, after we get the knowledge from above, yes, and the vision, yes, so that Jamaica may, how? Under, under God, God, because we have knowledge from above. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that Jamaica may, under God, mm -hmm. increase in beauty, mm -hmm fellowship and prosperity and then we are able to play our part in advancing the welfare of the what whole human race let me tell you something girl the only other per two persons that ever came to earth that speaks like a jamaican is jesus christ and secondly the promise god made to abraham god said to abraham i'm going to make you the father of many nations. Each individual Jamaican say to God, I am taking the responsibility of being the father of every nation. Mm. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's who you are sitting in the seat that you are. But how do the perish? How do the people perish? Mm -hmm. A lack of knowledge. Mm. The people perish. Mm, no. So, like I told the Prime Minister at the beginning of the year. And I will keep saying it until the Prime Minister hear it again. Yes. What the Prime Minister is saying about Jamaica and prosperity mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica will never get to prosperity until Jamaica goes under God, mm -hmm. increasing beauty, then increasing fellowship. Mm 
-hmm. Prosperity is final. Yes. This is not a political statement. Yes, sir. This is the purpose of Jamaica is written mm -hmm. and outlined. Mm -hmm. Now, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is automatic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You experiment. Mm -hmm. I am 46 years old. I've watched Jamaica start over more than five times. Mm. What has it been? It has been experiments. Experiments? All experiments. Mm -hmm. I pray mm -hmm. that at one point in time, mm -hmm. any Jamaican political party mm -hmm. will run their election mm -hmm. on this manifesto, mm -hmm. the National Pledge. Yes. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. To be frank, God was showing us. Mm -hmm. Can we can we do the acronym? Yes. Motto, anthem, pledge. What mm -hmm. do you get? Acronym. Right. M A P. Mm -hmm. M A P. Map. So the motto, the anthem, and the pledge shows us a clear direction of who we are and how we are supposed to operate. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. That's. Okay. It's written. That's. Cool. Before any manufacturer make anything they normally outline how it's supposed to operate mm -hmm. so god gave us how jamaica is supposed to function mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, my god this this interview was so good but before i ask you to just you know leave a word with somebody that's listening to you today any events that we can look forward to how's the tv show going or everything happening so we're just about we're just about um to relaunch our television show yeah. um, in the third quarter of the year. Mm -hmm. um, there are like about, I have about two singles mm -hmm. that we're about to drop. One of them is, is, is really a big, nice song, a song, excuse me, yeah. that, that um, is a song that is a collab with, with an American group, mm -hmm. with an American group. Um, and then, there's another song called Good Good that we're about to drop. Yes. Um, we're about to take off again on a school tour come September, the Encounter Purpose School Tour. And when the Encounter Purpose TV show, TV series is about to come on. Um, in April, April and May events, we have a couple events in Jamaica. Yes. We're doing, we're doing um, April 26th. There's an event at Church, Portmore Church of God, mm -hmm. that we're doing. Um, then May, I think May 18, May 18, and then we're back for Father's Day again. Um, there are a couple events coming so up we have, we're we, looking we, forward we have to. Posters. Can we post it in? A, a couple of those should be should be out and ready. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. We're going to put your all your social medias at the end, but I want you to look into the camera and minister to somebody that is saying, I feel hopeless, purposeless, and helpless. Help me. So if you feel hopeless, purposeless, and helpless, is a feeling. <laughs> I love that, sir. <laughs> And I'm not laughing at you, you know, I'm not laughing at you. But I'm just telling you, it's a feeling. And, 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 and you can attest that the next two minutes, or maybe less than the next two minutes, somebody can do something and you're just overwhelmed with joy. Right? So, so those things are feelings. And I always encourage people to know the truth. Because what you know is always more powerful than what you feel. Hmm. What you know is always more powerful than what you feel. Let me tell you what you should know. What you should know is that God sent Jesus to restore you. That means you are already restored. You are already restored, you know. Now, if you have not accepted that res restoration, that is where your challenge lies. If you have accepted the restoration in accepting Jesus Christ and you still feel, it means that there are some things that you don't know. Because the devil, remember what Jesus says, he says knowledge of the truth, truth sets you free. So that means anything that is holding you bound is at a degree of something that you don't know. Ignorance. Cool? So... It's about now finding the truth about that thing.
It's about finding the truth about that thing. I, I share a story with you. I never understood, I never understood how to use my cell phone. Um, I never understand um, how to make, I guess you can make just signals to the phone now. Mm -hmm. And you get balloons or you get, if you put a thumbs up, a thumbs up. I never understood. One day, this thing just came up on my phone and I never knew what happened. But I was giving somebody the thumbs up and I saw this thing come up on the phone. So I called my seven-year-old and I said, Rain, why this thing just come up? And she said, Daddy, if you put your finger before it, it says it's AI. If you put your finger before it, it will pick your finger up and it will scan what is happening and do it and you'll see it i had i got knowledge of the truth so now i know that mm -hmm. what i'm saying is you can only be defeated at the level of your ignorance mm. And okay. Jesus is saying, again, I'm going to tell you, when Jesus said knowledge, knowledge of the truth set you free, he wasn't just talking about the fact that he is the truth. Mm -hmm. He was saying, the devil, the devil is not supposed to be beating you up at all because mm -hmm. truth about anything set you free. Let me give you a truth about the devil. The devil has been destroyed. His work has been destroyed, cancelled, done. If you read Hebrews 10 or 12, it says that his work, it said this one man took care of that work once and for all and has, past tense, perfected us forever. Hmm. That's why I say you're not a sinner, you're here. Mm -hmm. You just don't know that your sins have been paid for. Oh my God, that is so powerful. I, I wish, I wish somebody got that. You're not a sinner unless you accept that Jesus never paid for it. But if you accept that Jesus paid for it. All you now need to do is accept Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if you accept Jesus and confess Jesus, you're not a sinner. This is why Jesus never talk about sin. Read, read him. And, and, I want to wrap up and show you here, Sheena, because <laughs> something's flying in my spirit, you see. Jesus never talked about sin. Yeah. Never. Mm -hmm. Every person that Jesus mentioned sin to, Jesus said, Jesus would say to them, Go your way. No more. And do what? No more. Go your way and do what? No more. So how comes those people are still sinners? Mm. <laughs> I am not a sinner. <laughs> Jesus tell me, go my way and sin no more. I confess who I was, who I was before him saved me. And now I am I am being taught mm -hmm. to live by his grace, yes, which is his ability to do. So what he's saying is before now, Randall, you never knew that when you reach the red light, you must stop. Mm -hmm. So you would have drive through and break it. Me can't break the red light now. Because mm -mm. mm -mm. you know. Because <laughs> me know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now go away and sin no more. Last thing, as, in, as he speaks them, I speak. He said to the disciples before he left, he says, this is what you are going to do. The same thing that I do. He says, any man's sin that you forgive is forgiven. Let me tell you what we need to be doing. Yes, sir. We need to be looking at people who we know that they are living and they have them problems and stuff. The same way Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Go your way and I sin no more. more. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sir. We just don't believe so we can do it. We just don't believe so it will affect them like how Jesus affect them. Mm -hmm. But how, how is it that you have the same spirit that Jesus had? Just ask him. Mm, the belief system is very important. Absolutely. Mm. If you believe that a car, if you're standing in the middle of the road mm -hmm. and you believe that a car coming at 100 uh, miles per hour is going to kill you, what are you going to do? Get out of the road. Mm -hmm. Belief says act. Mm -hmm. Oh, belief says act. People need to be believers, man. More and no Christian. <laughs> Too much Christian. They need to be believer. Jesus said these signs follow the believers, not the Christians. Jeez. 
I'm just saying, and I'm not beating Christian. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. become the believer. Yes. You start out as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Don't stay there, this religious being mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. And the only time you want to reason with God is when you want something. Mm -hmm. And and the God of things. Mm -mm. Of, yeah, if you ever know who is the God of things, <laughs> <laughs> The devil can give you anything that you want. You stay there. <laughs> True. I leave it alone here. Don't trouble me. Sure. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day but today. You can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1 876 429 6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now, Crown and the Cross. Powerful, powerful, powerful. <laughs> Man, I got the last thing we ask that you do is to pray for us. Okay. Let us pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to put your word on the waves and to reach people all over the world. Now we thank you for the blessing of this platform that you have given. The, the, the vision that you gave to Sheena to do this ah i pray that you will cause her ministry to explode exponentially to impact men that the kingdom of god will come and the will of god will be done on earth just as it is in heaven everything that you have written concerning your daughter everything that you have written concerning this power talk that lord many lives will be impacted permanently and men will turn to you. We pray for the salvation of those who are watching. Those who consider themselves to be too far from God. Oh, we pray that you will cause them to realize how important they are in your sight. Save men, because only you can save men. Restore men, because only you can restore men. Cause men to see, meet the rest restoration that you have given them. And God, I pray that you will lead them to the right places that will help them to become your battle axes in the earth. We honor you and glorify you and we thank you. You know, in Jesus we bless you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Name above every other name. The greatest name that has ever lived. Both in heaven and earth and under the earth. The name of Jesus Christ. Hey, you're powerful, yeah. Live powerfully. Yeah, man. Blessings. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. It's an honor, Thank man. You. It's I a pleasure. It. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Power gang, remember, if you're not saved, now is the time. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Get saved today and send up some love for the man of God. Here's what. You're going to see the YouTube channel. All this information on screen running right now. Click the link and go follow up. See what's new. Everything that we get, we're going to put it here. But what we don't post, you can go directly to all the social media platform yeah. and there you'll find everything. Random positive was in the building. We get the profit. We get the pastor. We get the teacher. We get the... Listen, we are That's thankful. We are thankful. For man, I got love Such you and thank you. And shout out to First Lady. I want to say that and the beautiful family. Shout out, love and yeah, man. I never get to bless them either. I'm a blessing, no. I bless my wife, my lovely wife, Latoya, Janari, our eldest, Leon, our second, and Rain, mm -hmm. Rain Judah, the mm -hmm. princess. We're going to change the world. All of them are world changers, but Rain is coming with something special for her generation. You know, Leon and Janari already taking on them generation and stuff we're looking forward bless you amen god bless she not power talk hey power gang remember to get your book on amazon today 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 no other day but today you can get it in kindle form and you can get it in paperback form and if you are in jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book the crown and the cross listen to me call me at 1-876-429-6004 listen power gang you must have one of these books come on now crown and the cross 
Hey beauties and cuties, thank you so much for being a part of Sheena Power Talk Youth Link. I trust that your soul is edified, Satan is terrified, and God is glorified. If you want to be a part of this amazing move, this divine move, you can always call me or contact me on any social media handles. Don't keep that story to yourself. Let it out. Let yourself be free and free somebody else. Share your story today on Sheena Power Gang. Listen to me, Power Team. Power gang, we are cause an eruption in the earth. We are called for revival, and God has set the nigga and broke out in our life. In Jesus' name, let it be well. God bless you. And please remember, if you do want to sow, if you do want to help this ministry monetary, you can always contact me. You can always get me through Cash App or other different means like Western Union, MoneyGram, anything and any way you want to sow and make an offering to what God is doing i would really appreciate it there are things that we need as we develop and we trust that you will be generous to us as the lord will lead you thank you so much for making it sheena power gang you don't know how big things are going to sheena power gang and power gang gonna lead god bless you god keep you